Hello everybody. In this video, let's see how the split function will work in Power Apps. So sometimes Power Automate will send output as JSON for Power Apps. So here, if you see a JSON string I have taken, and I am splitting that with uh, a delimiter comma. Okay. So if you see the split function in Power Apps in the Microsoft Docs, it, it says like split function breaks a text string into a table of substrings. Okay. So now this split is giving the output as as a table. Okay. It splitted the string and it gave a table with two records. So our aim is to get 5.0 from this uh, say string. So let's see how we can get the 5.0 value okay so now uh, we got a table with two records now 5.0 is in the first record so to get the first record in that particular table so there is a one more function here first okay let's uh, if you apply a, this uh, first on the top of the split so it will give the first record value here so we got label 5.0 so here you can see uh, more about the first function so here the first function returns the first record of a table so uh, in our split it's already giving two records so we used this first and it's giving us the first record uh, this is a table and we got the first record label 5.0 here so now the other challenge is like we need to get 5.0 so now again we can divide this text with a uh, colon right so we will use again a split here so that it will divide again the label and 5.0 on, on this top of text again so let's again apply split here now we got a table with two records one is with label and one is with 5.0 so we got two records now the first record is not necessary for us we need only the last record so to get the last record is there any function available yes it's available last in power apps this is last the last function returns the last record of a table or we can make use of first n the first returns the first set of records of table and the second argument specifies the number of records to the return so anyways we can use the already available last function here which because it is returning the last record of a table so if i apply last on the on this particular expression now it will give me 5.0 as text okay the output of last function is text so for every function there will be some output in power apps so here for the last the output must be like text and you can also use first n and last here so again we got a challenge we need to remove the double quotes in this text 5.0 so i used here replace and instead of replace if you want you can use substitute also just see, let, let's see uh, what microsoft docs is telling about the replace function so here you should see uh, this the replace function identifies the text to replace by starting position and length so this replace needs a starting position and the length uh, so that it will replace that particular text okay instead of that we can also use substitute substitute function identifies this text to replace by matching a string suppose if you have double quotes it will match and it will replace that particular text if you use a substitute it will be more easy than replace anyways here i am using the replace so uh, i used uh, the replace to remove the double quotes here again on um, i got the output as 5.0 but the still double quotes is there so again i used one more replace on top of that particular text so i got now clean 5.0 here i suggest uh, if you want to use uh, replace things uh, you can also use substitute which will help Thank you for watching. Let's see this split function and all other text functions in the action. So now you can see here if I click my uh, parent gallery here, 
this is my parent gallery and I'm just giving the review uh, preview here if I click here the second item it's giving me two three items 3.0 2.0 so our aim is here to just get the uh, version number like 7.0 here okay so to get uh, how uh, this 7.0 let's check how we can manipulate these uh, things with uh, these functions available in the power apps okay let's uh, start here and uh, uh, here just okay click back and here select this okay and if you see here this is at present this item dot result is there okay now let's first split this so to split something we need one we need right here so to split this string we have one common one which is okay comma okay so let's split that one with comma here so i'm splitting this whole text with this split function split here and here now you can write this item this item dot result and the split is asking split text comma separator okay separator so i'm writing the separator as comma here okay now if you see here if you see the data type is table here the output but we need a text right so on the top of this let's uh, get a uh, since split will give uh, the table record right uh, a table with two records now what will be the two records now so first one will be the label and second will be the modified so on the we need the first record so on the top of this we will apply the first so first of first of source okay let it be the source and dot result and output you can see label 3.0 is coming now on the top of this label 3.0 we need again 3.0 right so to get the 3.0 or 5.0 we need to write one more function here one more split we will do with semicolon here split off comma in here with semicolon and again it is giving the table so we need again uh, if we split label and 5.0 will come and we need the last one again so on the top of this we will apply a function last of source okay dot result and now you can see 5.0 now uh, we need to re remove these double quotes right so we can use replace replace we can use or substitute substitute we can use and comma here and it's asking the whole text what is the whole text here so whole text will be here my double quotes needs to be removed right so i will give uh, whole text the double quotes in the double quotes because we need to remove the double quotes right we need to give those double quotes in the double quotes and comma and the new text so new text will be some space okay empty space uh, see now we got 5.0 and if you think uh, this 5.0 contains some kind of spaces you can also apply trim on the top of this again trim of text okay so the trim will remove all these uh, particular spaces or whatever okay this is how you need to manipulate the things uh, especially uh, the text uh, which is coming from power automate uh, which especially we can say like json text okay if you click format text here it will give us complete like this this expression okay so this is how you need to use the text functions in the power automate uh, sorry in the power apps